Hi, this is Fred Mitchell, Chairman of the Progressive Liberal Party. The first thing to say about this judgment of Bahama is that Bahama itself is safe. The judgment has nothing to do with the existing facility Bahama, which is full of tourists and which hires almost 5,000 people, 5,000 Bahamians. The second thing is the developer is seeking to tell a narrative which does not line up with the facts. Thirdly, we're concerned about the lead of the opposition who jumps on a judgment, comments written by a judge in the United States. When is the lead of the opposition going to support Bahamians and support the Bahamas? He has a pattern of this without checking the facts. Just as recently as uh, the Grand Bahama Power Company uh, rate increase, uh, he had to be dragged kicking and screaming to the table on that matter by his own members. And finally, he said he supported the Bahamian people against the Grand Bahama Port Authority. So now here we have this judgment which comes up. But remember, there were other judgments in two Nassau courts in which his members, FNM members, Dwayne Sands, Marvin Dames, were condemned by the courts for interfering in uh, cases in the Bahamas. He has nothing to say about that but is able to jump on this judgment uh, in the United States. So one has to be careful and skeptical about all of this. First, this is not about politics. The fact is Bahama was a good thing for the Bahamas. Um, the developer defaulted on the first mortgage to Scotiabank and then defaulted the second time after the Bahamas government rescued the product by going to the China Import-Export Bank. We know that the property was then put in liquidation, uh, sold on the open market in the Bahamas. The courts heard all of the arguments and there was a lawful sale to a buyer who can pay its bills. The rest of this is a side story and it is unfortunate that you have an investor having lost an investment largely by uh, what happened out of his own hand, now seeking to ascribe blame to others. But the main issue for us is the Bahamas government has no liability which arises out of this. Bahama is safe as an investment. And then lastly, all of the salacious stuff which came out of the developer's statement about how uh, there was a collusion with corrupt Bahamian officials. There is no evidence of that either. And one ought to be very careful and skeptical about anything which arises from that quarter about this matter. Bottom line, Bahamas government has no liabilities which arise out of this. Uh, and lastly, the, the investment itself, Bahama and the hotel, are safe and uh, functioning uh, in the country.